boys and girls. Welcome back to Kids Corner here at Steenville First Baptist Church. We've got an awesome story for you today, and it comes all the way from the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Fun fact, did you know that the word Genesis means beginning? That's right, it means beginning, and that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. Back before there were cars, before there were houses, even before there were toys. Now, I've invited a special guest to come help me with our story today, and his name is Theo. And speaking of Theo, where is he? He's late. Oh. Am I late? Did I miss them? Are they gone? No, they're not gone, Theo. I was just telling the kids about you. Did you tell them I have superhuman strength? No, because you don't have superhuman strength. You're a retriever. I know, but I think it would be really cool if I did. Did you tell them I love peanut butter and banana sandwiches? But I don't like celery because it gets caught in my teeth. No, I didn't tell them, but you just told them. Well, I have something else too I want to tell them. Did you know that fish can fly? Yes, they can, it's true. My Uncle Dave told me so. Your Uncle Dave tells you lots of things, doesn't he? Well, he's kind of right. There are fish that kind of fly. They jump out of the water and they have these little wing-like things and they can leap a really long way, but they don't actually fly. Well, he also told me that there are fish that can walk, but I think he might have been telling me stories. Well, your Uncle Dave is right again. There are fish called walking fish, and they can kind of like crawl on top of the water, and they even breathe real air like you and me. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. God made some weird things, huh? God did make some awesome creatures. He made poisonous frogs, legless lizards, stink bugs, all kinds of weird and funny animals. He even made a plant that eats bugs and he made trees that can grow as big as huge buildings. So God made all of those things? Yeah, he sure did. God must like to laugh a lot. I'd say he probably does. You know, you can thank your Uncle Dave for telling you all about these different kind of fish, and you may even want to ask him if he's ever heard of any other funny animals. Well, he started to tell me about a talking retriever, but I didn't believe him. Maybe I'll go back and ask him later. All right, you should do that. Well, let's get into our story and see what we're learning today, okay? So like I said, our story today comes all the way from the beginning, back in the book of Genesis, and it's about the trees and the bees and you and me. So here we go, we're gonna read it. In the beginning, before there was anything, God created the earth and the heavens around the earth. Then God decided to fill the earth with beautiful and amazing things. God said, let there be light. And with those four words, light filled the earth. Oh, 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 wait, was that the sun? <clears throat> well, hold on, Theo. Let's see, uh, God made daytime and nighttime, creating the very first day. On the second day, God said, let the sky be separated from the earth. And it happened, as God said, the waters of the sky separated from the waters of the earth, and the sky spread out far and wide above the world. Now on the third day, God pulled all of the water on the earth together to make the oceans and lakes, rivers and creeks. He left wide spaces of dry land too. Then God said, let there be lots and lots of plants on the land, every kind of plant. Let there be plants with seeds and trees with fruit so that even more plants and trees can grow from their seeds and their fruit. And that's just what happened. Daisies and daffodils jumped from the soil. Lilies and lilacs bloomed big and beautiful. Trees stretched out their bright green leaves, reaching for the sun. Apples burst forth in red and green and yellow. Ooh, I love apples. Me too, Theo. Let's see what else happened. God created the earth and the skies, daytime and nighttime, and trees and plants too. And God saw that it was good, but God wasn't finished yet. On the fourth day, God said, let there be a big bright light for the day, and let there be a smaller light for the night. Oh, 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 so that was the sun and then the moon? Yes, Theo, that was the sun and the moon. And that's exactly what happened. He gave us the shun, sun, shining sun, excuse me, to fill the day with light and warmth, and he gave a shimmery moon and twinkling stars for the nighttime. As the stars faded and the sun rose on the fifth day, God brought the oceans and the skies to life. He let the oceans be filled with all sorts of creatures and the skies to be filled with all kinds of birds. And that's what happened. 
Now up splashed the dolphins and the minnows and the big blue whales. The waters wriggled with curious new creatures. The skies came alive with birds in flight, herons and hummingbirds, pigeons and parrots, cardinals and kookaburras. God was very pleased. He blessed the fish and the birds and he told them, multiply and fill the earth. Now on the sixth day, God created the animals. Every kind of animal, huge and loud, quiet and gentle, spiky and fuzzy, smelly and beautiful, he created them all. Lions roared, mice squeaked, kittens meowed. What noise did you make, Theo? <coughs> yeah, you barked. The earth was alive with brand new sights and sounds and smells. God was so pleased, but still he created even more. From the dust of the earth, God formed the very first man. Oh, was his name Adam? His name was Adam. Very good, Theo. God himself breathed life into Adam. And that was the very first human that ever lived on the earth. And he put him in the garden, a garden called Eden. And the garden was full of life. You will rule over all of these creatures, the birds, the fish, and the animals too, God said. Adam named them all. He named them aardvarks and blue jays, catfish, until each of the creatures had its own name. While he was naming them, Adam noticed something. He saw that the animals had other animals to play with, and the birds had other birds to sing with, and the fish had other fish that swam around just like him. Adam was alone. Oh man, I bet he was really lonely. He was. He was the only human in the whole wide world. Of course, God was always with Adam. But God knew that Adam wanted someone who was a human like him. So after creating plants and animals and man, God still wasn't finished. I will make another person, God said, the perfect match for the man. So God put Adam into a deep, deep sleep and took out one of Adam's ribs. <laughs> Theo, hey, wake up, oh, oh, we're not sorry. done. I just fell into a deep sleep like Adam. That's okay. But just as God had created a man from nothing but dust, he created woman using only the rib from a man. When Adam saw the woman, he said, at last, someone like me. Adam. Oh, oh, wait, was her name Eve? Her name was Eve. Now Adam had someone to talk to and spend his days with. Together, Adam and Eve lived in the fullness of the Garden of Eden. They smelled the colorful flowers and ate many different yummy fruits. They watched the animals play and there in the presence of God, Adam and Eve had all that they would ever need. On the seventh day, God looked at the earth and heavens, the sun and the stars, the plants, the animals, and the people. He looked at all of the amazing things that he had created, and God saw that it was all so good. And then on that day, God, the almighty, all-knowing, and all-powerful, took a good long rest. Oh, is that why we rest on the Sabbath? Yep, that's why. Oh, wow. So God made everything. That's right, Theo. He made everything, even you and me. So when you go outside today and you look up at the big, beautiful sky and you see the sun and the moon and the stars, take a minute and remember that God created the heavens. And when you see the trees and the grass and the animals and the butterflies, remember that God created the earth. And when you go home and you see the people that you love, remember that God created them too. Because God is almighty, all powerful, and all knowing. Now, let's look at our memory verse today. It comes from Genesis 1 1, and it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everything that you've blessed us with, Lord. You were here before there was anything else, and we're so thankful that you were so creative and so full of wisdom and knowledge. Help us to love you more every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so we're gonna sing the creation song, and I need your help with counting. We're counting one to seven, it's real easy, follow along and help me count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day number one, God made the light. He made the day and he made the night. Day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. Day number four, God made the stars, put the sun in the sky, super duper far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God made you and God made me. He made everyone, everything we see. He made the earth and he made the heavens in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day number five, he made the birds and the fish. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish. Day number six, he made animals and bugs. Foxes and cubs, things that we can love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Day number six, God also made man. He said it was good, it was part of his plan. Day number seven, God stopped and rest. He looked at what he did. It was his best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God made you and God made me. He made everyone, everything we see. He made the earth and he made the heavens in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before we go today, we have something really cool that we're going to start. And it's called our mailbox. And you can send mail straight to the church and label it Kids Corner. And it's going to come straight to us. We even have this really cool little mailbox. And we want to hear from you every week. So if you can draw or tell stories or remember the memory verse that we go over each week, we want you to draw it and send it to us. And we will open your mail right here every week on Kids Corner. Oh, can, can I send a letter? You can. Oh, Anybody awesome. can send a letter or any type of mail that they want to. And we do want to hear from you. So I hope that next week we have something really cool inside of our mailbox because right now it's empty. So hopefully we'll have some mail next week, Theo. I'm excited. All right, boys and girls, we will see you next week right here at 8 o'clock for Kids Corner at Steveville First Baptist Church.